All right, here's our second lesson, uh, section one, four segments, rays, parallel lines, and planes. So a segment's a part of a line consisting of two endpoints and all points between them. So if you look at our example here, segment AB, that is part of the line. So it goes from point A to point B. You could also actually even call this segment BA. Um, notice it's just a vertical bar above the two capital letters. A ray is a part of a line consisting of one endpoint and all the points on the line on one side of the endpoint. So a ray, when you denote it, it starts with the endpoint. So at the example on the right, this is ray yx. I cannot reverse it because it's saying we start at y and we go over, we start at y and go over to x. And then opposite rays are two collinear rays with the same endpoint. So ray RQ and ray RS are considered opposite rays. All right, so let's look at some examples of this. Um, we're going to refer to the figure below to answer the questions. Number one says name all the segments. And remember we said a segment is part of a line. So I could call this, we have segment QR. We have segment QS, we have segment RS, and actually that's it. Um, reversing the letters, you still have the same line segment. Okay, number two, name all the rays. So with rays, order does matter. So if I wanna to start with point Q, and go to the right, I could have ray QR, I could have ray QS. I could also start with endpoint R, I could have ray RS, or I could go to the left and have ray RQ. I could also start with endpoint S and go to the left could have ray SR and finally ray SQ. So you notice we have six rays there. On number three are QR and RQ opposite rays. Well remember we said that the first letter of the ray is the endpoint. So QR, we're saying we start at point Q and we're going to the left. Then RQ, we're saying we start with point R and go to the right. So are these opposite rays? Um, the answer would be no because they have different endpoints. Yeah, a little trouble with the E's here. There we go. Different and, whoops, typo. And points. Okay. And finally, number four, name a pair of opposite rays. All right, um, we have, actually, we only have really one choice here. We can have ray R, Q and then starting with the same endpoint but going the opposite way, we can have ray R S. Okay, here our last vocab for this section. So parallel lines are coplanar lines that do not intersect. So if we look at the top plane, so plane C D E, um, we can name two parallel lines here. We can say that line C D is parallel to line FE. And we're just going to name one pair here, but there are a bunch of pairs that you can name. Skew lines are non coplanar lines that do not intersect. So again, we can refer to our top plane, uh, CDE, and then let's look at the bottom plane, ABH. We're looking for two lines, so they're not in the same plane, they're not going to intersect, and they're also they're not parallel. 
So let's go again with line CD. And then I can say line BH. And finally, parallel planes are planes that do not intersect. Now, to name a plane, you only need three points that are in that plane. So let's say plane CDE is parallel to plane ABH. So I'm just using those two planes that we used in the last two as well. Um, 